We are heading out. Actually, they hit another fifth wheel next to us. It's our last day at Tolona. We are heading out. Woo! We are finally headed south, and I am so happy. I'm done with this cold, rainy, crud weather. <laughs> And we got kind of a little bit of a surprise for you today. We're gonna stop at a, kind of a new type of RV park, so stay tuned. We'll see you on the road. Just pulled over at a rest stop to take a little break. We just finally out of Atlanta. Mm, How yeah. is Atlanta? I never want to drive through Atlanta again. I We've done it three times now in the last three months-ish and I'm done. I'm done with Atlanta. I don't want to do it anymore. Each time we've gone through we've witnessed at least one or two accidents. Uh, today was very close. The accident today actually they hit another fifth wheel next to us yeah the whole side of the other person's fifth wheel was damaged basically we're just very fortunate it wasn't us yes very much so um i hope everything went okay i hope they were okay they weren't the only trailer we did actually pass another accident with another trailer as well oh yeah and there was that one too yeah it might be a coincidence but both accidents that we saw involving travel trailers or fifth wheels the drivers were in the left lane and I don't think that it was necessarily them that caused the accident I think it's all the other smaller faster bad drivers around them that caused the accident so I don't know I mean we tend to always stay in either the middle or the right lane kind of gives you a little bit of a buffer for those people who are really speeding by in the left lane I don't know if there's a correlation there, but why take the chance with your RV? You know, just go slow, just go steady, stay away from the crazy drivers, <laughs> and turn your lights on. Yeah, it's turn raining. It's raining on. really good today, and so many people don't have their lights on. It's frustrating. A little safety tip. All right, we're on our way down the road. We're about an hour and Not a an hour. hour and a half out from our. Uh, our destination for the Yeah, next. our unique stop. Yes, which we will be sharing with you very shortly. We also do pass Bucky's, so I don't know. we might have to stop. We're not stopping at Bucky's. We spend like seventy dollars every time we're in Bucky's. But we might need fuel, and Bucky's has that. <laughs> to be we'll determined see. if we stop at Bucky's. We'll see. I just think it's funny how much traffic is coming back north, especially campers. And our road is wide open. It's a snowbird migration north. <laughs> the snowbirds are migrating. That's all right, more space for us.
house goes right over there, so we will have to stop. Well, it's the first. Yeah, loves RV stuff. <laughs> We're in Cordell, Georgia. We thought we'd give it a try and let you guys know how it is. Today's a just an overnighter. Departure of the night. <laughs> Twenty-five available sites. Nice. We are site type. Well, hopefully we're right. Uh yeah, why not? Both sides for slides. So get full hookups, right? Yep. So site number 28 or 30? Whichever one. 30. Forty-seven fifty-two. Okay. That's not bad. A little expensive for an overnighter, but it's less than 50. Well, we gotta give it a true test, so we gotta have full hookups and all that stuff. And we'll look around and see what else we got. Yeah, we'll take you guys on a walk around this area, but I like that it's fenced in. And we are not alone here. There will be some neighbors, so that's kind of cool. And they have a good sand discount, so we got 10% off, which brought it down to 43.09. Nice, heck yeah. And payment details, you guys don't need to see that. Probably not. <laughs> Also, I'm going to put you down because my hands are shaking. They are so cold. too bad for hookups although they are really far away <laughs> as it is say yeah the the hookups are a little far back but we only need it for a night So since we're only staying one night, we're probably not gonna unhook from the truck. However, we do always put the Anderson buckets on our front two here. Uh, what we'll do is we'll put those down just to help with a little bit of stability as well as taking some pressure off the truck. Um, we're not gonna unhook necessarily, but we are just gonna lift up just a little bit, bring that pressure off the truck and uh, stabilize. And then we'll put our slides out. Thoughts on Love RV Stop? I liked it. I thought it was really nice. <laughs> what did you think of it? I think it's a worthwhile stopover. I mean, you're paying for convenience. What did we pay? We ended up paying... It was 47 and then 43 with uh, Good Sam. 
Yeah. Okay. So good Sam membership. A lot of people have it. They did have other discounts as well. Uh, military discounts and I don't know. something else. There's yeah. stuff. Yeah. There's discounts available when you book. You can book your reservation ahead of time or you can just swing on in like we did. Um, it's a gated facility. So you just come, you, you pull up. There's a little kiosk, you end up typing in some information, and if they have a spot, you can select it and then just go right on through. Um, you're paying for the convenience of it, really. We're right next to Love's Travel Stop. We filled up yesterday, but we could have filled up this morning if we wanted to. Yeah, they also have uh, showers, bathrooms, laundry. So if you don't have all that in your RV, like if you were boondocking a lot, this would be a nice, easy, stop over to kind of get refreshed if you didn't want to seek out an actual rv park mm -hmm. and it's right off the interstate which is very convenient i thought it was great i mean yeah. i guess the only downside is you're right next to a truck stop but yeah, we didn't really hear the noise that much i didn't i mean it's like a it's kind of similar to just a low hum in the background so you eventually it just turns into white noise and i didn't even notice it i slept pretty mm -hmm. good last night yeah, I think for one, maybe even two days, it wouldn't even be that bad. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, overnight stops, this is perfect. Would I stay here any longer? I don't know. It's a nice facility, but probably not, just because why would you? Yeah, pads are perfectly level, so that's nice. The pads were level. <laughs> yeah, I was impressed with that. Go loves. All right, well, thumbs up for me for loves. Thumbs up for me, too.